Um, so first of all, was your first um, European campaign uh, with your with your spell at Quinns. Um, good win on the weekend. Decent squad being built at the club as well. What are your ambitions going into the season? What's going to be a, a tough pool, but two very exciting opponents as well? Yeah, the Champions Cup is just a good break away from the league and the, the, the different pressures does that bring. It's, um, it's kind of a place where you can go and, and play the best teams and play with a different, a different outlook on the game. You want to play and you can afford to play in a little bit more bit more style and freedom. Um, you can chance your arm a little bit more and try and win games, maybe differently to, to how you would in a Premiership game. So it definitely offers that and that makes it exciting in itself for the players and wanting to play in it. Absolutely, yeah. And as we've kind of already covered, your, your first opponent, you're up away against uh, Munster. Familiar opponent for you. It sounds like it'll be an empty tome and park, but still a pretty formidable opposition who more often than not seem to be battling in the final stage of the competition. What are you guys expecting from that challenge? Yeah, Munster, I've started really well in the league and uh, Thorn Park, where the full or empty, is always going to be a very difficult place to go and get a win. Uh, I remember Quinns did it a few years ago now. I'm not sure what year it was. Yeah. They went and got the win, um, which was unusual, but there's some players here that have been and done it. I've unfortunately not been able to go and do it. Uh, so it is it is hard place to go and get a win. And like I've said, yeah, the Champions Cup means an awful lot to Munster. So we'll be expecting both barrels come that game. And it kind of doesn't get any easier with your with your second tie as well, up against last year's finalist, Rassing. Um, seriously good side. Um, one of the best who have not won the competition. What are you guys expecting when you when you face them at the suit? Uh, well, I'm, I'm hoping it will actually suit suit us and how we play. Playing against, against a team like Rassin, they want to play. Uh, they want to play rugby with Finn and Vakatoa and, um, I mean, Zebo and all these players. They want to play a, a brand of rugby of throwing it around and having played in France and know how that works, but it can also create opportunities and hopefully we, we want to play that style too. So it'll be an open game and there'll be some tries scored. Absolutely, yeah. We'll uh, we'll look forward to that one. <clears throat> so I wanted to use the, these last few minutes just to reflect personally on your career in the Heineken Champions Cup and some of your greatest memories. You've obviously got this incredible record of 40 tries um, scored in the Heineken Champions Cup. Um, I sort of wanted to start by thinking back to your first memories of the competition when you were when you were back at the Saints. What were your first impressions of the competition and how it sort of compared to playing Premiership rugby? One of my first memories, funnily enough, would be would be against Munster. Um, having come from rugby league, always playing against the, your local team, really to be able to go to leave Northampton and, and go across to Thorman Park and just experienced on part when Munster were at the top um, and with a full crowd was something I'd never, never experienced before. Um, just the passion and uh, just the whole atmosphere of the tournament was something I hadn't expected and uh, didn't have an idea about. So to be able to start it off in such an, an amazing place and just get a feel for it that way you can tell that there's a, a dramatic difference from the Champions Cup to your normal Premiership games. Um, it's something you want to get excited about and you want to prove yourself in front of different teams all across Europe. And the only platform to do that is through the Champions Cup. Sure. And obviously, yeah, those kind of early experiences gave you a, a real platform to kick on. Um, obviously, your next move was to Saracens, where you were part of... Um, an incredible side that went on to win the Heineken Champions Cup in consecutive years. Can you evoke kind of the the emotion of winning the competition and just how much it meant to you, but also to the club? Yeah, it takes an awful lot of sacrifice um, and an awful lot of commitment as a team to get to that level um, as, a, as a massive understanding and an appreciation for the tournament. It's, it's a tough one to win um, and to win it twice is um, amazing memories for me. I, I'd, I'd love to do it again, right? but 
just to have that probably the first experience is the one that sticks with me it was to finally get to the to win a champions cup is something that I, I'd always I've always wanted to do I, I always want to win so to get to the final and finally get over the line against against Racing in in, um, in France was an amazing achievement and yeah it got a lot of gratitude for it I can imagine yeah and what, what about the emotion of scoring a try in a Heineken Champions Cup final as well especially one as you know as good as the one at Murrayfield back in 2017 just how incredible did that feel personally for you to, to score that try? Obviously a record-breaking try as well. What kind of emotions did you feel then? Yeah, a, um, a great day. It was um, it's unusual to score a try like that and for it to break the record too at the same time. So it was a good combination um, to get the win, get the try and get the record all in one day. So it was nice. It was a great feeling just to get the try. In, in any final, it's, it's nice to do that. Uh, but to get the first one of the game and to get the, to get us going and winning and then to win again, yeah, they're, they're the mo- they are the moments that will stick with me forever. Um, and that is for those moments and winning games like that are why I started and why I want to play. So just to finally have it there in a box that I've done it and um, I've been able to achieve that is, means a lot to me. Fantastic. And you, you've obviously got plenty of big moments to pick from with those 40 tries over the years. Are there any other tries particularly that stand out to you over the years as the ones that resonate with you and you'll take with you as you reflect on your career in the future? Yes, probably probably one of my best is it was against Ulster in the quarterfinal, I think, at Twickenham. I think it was in the quarter, it was in the quarter final, the semi final, but it was against Ulster. And Brad Barrett just passed it to me on the inside and on the halfway, and I managed to finish it. And that was a, a good one for me. It sticks with me. I had a couple of good ones against Ulster. Probably why they don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Um, and so, you've mentioned then just a, a name like Brad Barrett. What was it like playing in that side? The environment that kind of drove them to the success. Uh, that they came to know. What what was it like being a part of that? Yeah, I think having someone like Brad and, and the other players that are in there, it's consistency. Um, uh, it's cons- consistently a high level. You know what you're going to get out of Brad every time that he played. And you need people like that to, f- to form a strong team and a strong character in the team. And uh, every week you know how he's going to be and, and no one's going to get past him and if you have a rock like that in the middle of the backs then you're not going to go far wrong so every team needs a breath <laughs> um, and so after Sarri your next move was over to France you played with Toulon um, how did playing Champions Cup rugby with a French side, develop your career, do you think, and your ability as a, as a player and as a finisher as well? What lessons did you learn from your time at Toulon? Um, the game uh, the game itself in the top 14 suited me um, a lot. Uh, the way they play and the way they like to play, uh, I absolutely loved. Um, some of getting a chance to play with and against some of the best players in the world will be doesn't happen I feel anywhere else other than France so to be able to have that opportunity and just experience how these players work and operate day to day and to be able to play with them on top of that and score tries with them was the same as winning the cup for me in in a a life experience it's it's a one-off and yeah I benefited from it just being around them all the time and they can get you tries so you know you know you know to follow the right people yeah, so I mean, obviously you've played on, you've played with so many players and in so many teams that will have inspired you in various different ways. But who would you say over the years in European rugby are the biggest inspirations in terms of players you've watched, players you've played with, coaches you've played under? Who are the, the figures that have influenced and inspired you most over the years? Good question. I, I think one person that sticks in my mind... And I was fortunate enough to get to meet him and play with him and spend some time with him at Toulon, the back end of his career, 
but he was always someone that I admired watching, especially in the, the Highland Cup, Champions Cup. He's Vincent Clerk. Um, what a player he was for Toulouse, how many tries he scored. And for me to actually get ahead of him in his record, um, I have nothing but admiration for the man. And to finally meet him at Toulon, I think sometimes they, they say you shouldn't meet people like that. But for me, he's uh, one of the nicest guys I've ever come across. So it was really nice for me to be able to see him at the end of his career and spend time with him. But yeah, I had big admiration for him as a player and as a try scorer, just as I wanted to be. Absolutely, yeah. What a what a fantastic player. And then just a couple of final bits, Chris. Um, I wanted to ask you, obviously, you're, you're at Harlequins this year, um, quite possibly a few more years in you playing in the Heineken Champions Cup. But what are your broader aspirations for the future within the game? Um, yeah, like I'm, I'm still, I am still enjoying playing and I still very much enjoy the occasion of a weekend and I hope to do it for a few more years yet. Um, beyond that, I'm not. Too, I, I want to stay in the game. Um, it's all I've ever known from being four years old, rugby league or rugby union. I want to stay in, um, in rugby in some form. I'm just not quite sure what that's going to be. Yeah. 